All right, Alan Vaughn, tagsdf.com. We are here with Nick's senior guard, Cam Bundy. Cam, how you feeling? Feeling great. Feeling great? Got to. Now, obviously, we're going to get to the game or we're going to get to everything else, but I just showed you video of the dunk. What does it feel like to see it? Oh, to see it is just crazy. It makes me feel, I don't know, just even better than it felt in the game. It's just like, I, I had no idea I was that high, and I pulled it back that far, so it was pretty cool. Now, obviously, we've seen you do some things. You had a two-hand, two-feet earlier. I've, we've seen you do that, but not like that. What was going through your mind? What made you think you could jump over the dude? Oh, well, to be honest with you, I was going to get up to Ruger. One of my first guys, I saw him cutting, so I was going to get up to him. I noticed he was under the basket, so I felt like he was giving me the rim, so I, I took it. Wow. You just took it? Yeah. How many times have you done anything like that in practice or just goofing off? Um, I did that once in a game where we went to Leavenworth and we played Hogan Prep and I went coast to coast to back on a kid. And that was the first time I've done that since then. And that right. was crazy. Be honest, how tall are you? You're listed as 6'1". Are you really 6'1"? Um, I'm, I barely broke six foot on my uh, physical. Okay. All right. Have you, were you that tall last year or have last you grown year, at all? I grew about a uh, quarter an inch, half an inch. Right. Yeah. Right. What's I mean? Obviously, you've got you being able to do this, Jalen doing this, Austin doing a little bit of everything. I mean, how good are you guys now, and how good can you be? Well, we can be amazing. If we lock down the defensive end, we should easily go that state game and win easily. Now you played AAU. You played all. It, this kind of feels like an all-star team a little bit. I mean, you guys have a lot of guys that are going to go play college basketball. How does this compare to playing AAU ball? Uh, the talent ball is really fun, but this is just as fun because I got Ruder and Jalen to do everything. Epps can score the ball real well. We got yeah. shooters on the bench. It just makes my job so much easier playing with all those guys. Right. Now, we're trying to think. You're going to go down in blue and gold history. You know that, right, as far as doing this. I mean, everyone's going to talk about this. It's going to go viral. Are you ready for that kind of stuff? Because everyone's doing it now, everyone's coming up to you now. Are you ready to be that kid that dunked on that guy in that game? Yeah, I really hope people are still talking about it 10 years down the road. I would love to see that. That's awesome. great, that's great. Now, you're going to go to Drury. Yes, sir. And you've already signed. Yes. So talk about that decision, because obviously everyone's going to say, oh, he needs to go play D1, he needs to do that kind of stuff. But talk about the decision. We were talking about it earlier. Why are you going to Drury? Um, well, my family is close to Drury, and I live in Nixa, of course, just a, uh, 25 minutes down the road. And I thought... It's a good basketball program in the area, so I thought you'd stay around the area close to my family and just be a good basketball program for me to get to. Right. Now, you had an opportunity to play D1 basketball. Yes. Who offered you, and why did you choose to stay at home instead of go there? Um, I didn't have any offers, but the teams recruiting me were Indiana State and Oral Roberts University. Right. Were you just sick of waiting? I mean, was it one of those things where, like, well, if you're not going to offer, then I'm just going to do this instead? Or um, It wasn't necessarily one of those. It wasn't just kind of get out of the way. It was, Drew was a good program, right. and I felt like that was a good place for me. It felt like home and I just wanted to go there. For sure, for sure. So let's get to know you off the court a little bit. What do you do for fun? Fun? Um, I play video games. Okay. I, got, I got Netflix at home. I sit around and watch movies. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Give it, what, what's, your, what's your video game? What do you play? What's your game of choice? Uh, 2K12, NBA. Okay. Yeah. Who's your squad? Uh, let's let th- <laughs> City Thunder. The Thunder? Yeah. The Thunder? Why is that? KD? Yeah, KD. Westbrook? KD all the way. All the- ball <laughs> That's good. KD. <laughs> You just ball with what with Durant all day long. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Are you good? I'm pretty good. I can beat most people. Right here. Okay, uh, that's good. I like that. We have to hook up a challenger. It's not for me, but for every for everyone else. Yeah. What movies? Uh, What's good? You've seen right recently? now. I'm watching The League on Netflix. It's a TV show. It's yes, pretty funny. That's really funny. Are you yeah. a fantasy football guy? Uh, not really, but that show is hilarious. You like the show? <laughs> have you ever watched Curb Your Enthusiasm? Okay, it's very very similar. The same type of humor, same type of writers. You might want to check that out too. But The League is really you're you're right. The league is really funny. What kind of music you guys listen to? These uh, I listen to like Drake's new album just came out. Take care album. That's yeah. a really good album. I listen to that most time before games and Will Carter four before games. Gotta right. Get myself pumped up right. a little bit. Now you've gone through the recruiting process, but you've got guys like Norman, guys like Reuter that a lot of people are all over. What's it like for those guys? I mean, do you see them getting hounded and recruited like that all the time, or what's the process like for them? Um, for them, I think it's kind of casual for them. I mean, they're just kind of just hanging out and like. Coaches will come talk to him every once in a while. They come and watch a practice or so every once in a while. But I see him in the stands after games. So I'm not really looking for him or anything. But right. I think it really affects you in general. Like they just go out and do what they need to do on the court. Right. Since you're a year older, do you ever give them any advice on how it needs to go or what they need to do? Uh, not very often. I mean, I'm a leader and everything, but... Like, Ruder and Jalen are just really smart on the basketball court. I just think that they can handle themselves. And, like, if they're doing something wrong, like, yeah, I'll come over and talk to them. like give them some words of advice, but like, most of the time I don't have to. How would you describe your game? 
and game. what you're able to do on the basketball court. If no one's ever seen you, they they find you on Google with this ridiculous dunk, and they find this interview. How would you describe what you do on the court? Um, I'm more of an attack guard, a ball handler. Uh, I like to pass the ball while I do score, but my opportunities I get to the day, then I'll rise up on someone. No doubt. No doubt. Cameron, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.